Hello. I'll need a chair and a table for my things, please. Thank you. I also need you to leave before I decide to kill you for keeping our guest in such a manner. Go on. Run. Was what for your benefit? Really? You think I told off that god as some sort of trick to make you like me? <laughs> Why would you think something like that? It's true, some vampires like to play with their food. Carmilla does, certainly. Striga just kills her food. Morana tortures hers for information on where the rest of the food is. They're the ruling council. Carmilla is Queen of Styria, but we rule as a quartet. Morana is the organizer, Striga is the warrior. Me? I'm the diplomat. I don't think we've been formally introduced. I'm Lenore. It's a pleasure to meet you, Forge Master. What does Carmilla do? You've met her, haven't you? She's a spark. We see the present, she draws down the future. We're the body, and she is the dream. Would you like something to eat? If you really prefer rotting meat and maggots, then by all means, don't let me stop you. I'll just have to eat these blackberries by myself. Oh, I'm sorry. Must look like blood, mustn't it? Are you sure you wouldn't like one? Come on, I won't hurt you. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? You're welcome. I seem to have some roast chicken here as well as the blackberries. There are no maggots on it, though. I could call the guard and ask him to get you some sprinkles, if you'd like. Just because we're vampires doesn't mean we don't eat. It's the blood that gives us our essential nourishment, of course. You've probably seen a lot of that, having lived in Dracula's court. But we enjoy all the good things in life. It'd be silly not to, wouldn't it? Otherwise, well, why live forever if you're not going to live well? Piece of chicken. It's all right. I'm not here to cause you any more harm. Let's just have something to eat and talk. You're very welcome, pet. <clears throat> what are you? <clears throat> that you said, you'd rip out my fucking throat. <laughs> well, wasn't that fun? I'm a diplomat. I make peace. Carmilla thinks you're a useful idiot at best. Striga wants to kill you when she thinks about you at all, and Morana wants to torture you, not to get information out of you, just because she finds it calming. I make peace, and because of that, people think I'm soft. People think I'm weak. You won't make that mistake again, will you? Fetch. Hello, you're looking better. 
I would have come to see you sooner, but I thought you might not want to see me while your wounds were still fresh. Oh, don't get your niggers in a knot. I'm not going to jump you in there and moor you. I don't start fights. I finish them. I have one question. It's a bit rude to ask your own question right away, isn't it? I'll answer, though. Yes, Carmilla is keeping you around because she'd like a forge master. That's the only reason she's keeping you around. Now you answer my question. I haven't poisoned the apple, you know. Good. What would you like? It's a clear enough question. Let's talk about what you would like. <laughs> Shoes. That's the first thing you think of. I suppose that's fair. Did the apple buy me another question? What was Dracula going to give you? You were helping build an army for Dracula. You were advising him. He was going to kill all the humans and you were helping him. Really? You thought it was going to be a call, not a total massacre? It's funny. A call is exactly our plan. So Dracula lied to you then? Oh, well. Never mind. What was he going to give you for doing this work that he lied to you about? What was your reward for serving a man who lied about his intentions? You assumed you'd be allowed to live outside whatever pens he built for the humans. He never said that to you. Assumed, seemed to, maybe. Do you not want a reward? Or were you just expecting one would be presented? Even if you believed in the message, you went too far for someone who thought they were working for free. You obviously expected something, even if that was only to be spared from the slaughter or to be kept in a cage. <laughs> so that worked out well. Seriously, other than shoes, what do you want? Oh, this is a serious conversation, because Carmilla has commenced her plans to place the human population under control. Mercy kills and, if you'll forgive the term, humane feeding. This is the same plan Dracula presented to you, yes? Only he was lying. Plan to exterminate the human race, yes? We're not lying. And we don't expect you to work for free, or even for shoes. Oh, for God's sake. We're not bribing you. We're paying you. Nobody here holds a grudge, pet. I'm not saying Carmilla pushed you here on a wagon filled with feather down. She was pissed off, yes. But if she'd left you in Brela, do you think you'd be alive today? <laughs> so you would have preferred to die if you got to keep your boots on. Oh, I'm sure Dracula would have protected you, even though he decided to kill every human being on Earth because they murdered his wife. I'm sure you would have been the only survivor of the human race. Makes perfect sense. On the bright side, after everybody on Earth was dead, you could have had your pick of any house you wanted. Unless he was lying to you. Oh, I don't have to lie to you. I have no interest in faith. Faith makes for terrible diplomacy. This is simply commerce. In commerce, we don't have to have faith in each other, do we? We don't have to guess. It's simple. There are rules. I give you something, you give me something. That's all. You already know what Carmilla wants from you. All you need to do is think about what you want from her. And remember, we're 
the rulers of an entire kingdom. We can offer you a lot more than just safety and shoes. Yes, I know that any night creatures you forge are loyal to you. We can talk about that another time. Until then, I'll get you some shoes. What do I want in return? Talk to me some more about whatever you'd like. I like the sound of your voice. You're interesting. I mean, look at you, beaten down a dozen different ways and you don't give up on yourself. It's nice. I can't promise a nice pair. No holes in them. <laughs> so now you're a fucking aristocrat. There. That was nice, wasn't it? I bet you were dying for some fresh air. Are you still sulking about the collar? I told you Striga insisted. And since you threatened to rip my throat out at our first meeting, I think it's fair she'd be a little worried about what you might do. If it was really so terrible, you could have said no to the walk. I don't remember dragging you out by your neck. That wasn't supposed to be a punishment, you know. I really did just want to give you a chance to stretch your legs, since you've been so cooperative recently. No, we're not going back to that cell, pet. This way. I thought you might appreciate a little more room. In you go. There's not much, but I thought a blanket and some straw would be better than nothing. And that desk was taking up space in one of our studies anyway. It's not a trick. You're not dreaming. I thought you might like to sit and read to pass the time. It's better than staring at the wall and pulling your hair out, right? Oh, I almost forgot. You don't want to sleep with the collar on, right? I'll take it off for you. Pass your lead through. Hmm. I never noticed the color of your eyes before now. They're pretty. There. Good. That book, by the way, is some of our vampire magic. Given your own profession, I thought you might find it interesting. You're welcome. Can I see you tomorrow night? Thank you. Good night, pet. Dream well. <sighs> Poor thing. I see why Dracula lied to them. They make it too easy. Yes, what is it? The rings are done. Perfect. Have them sent to my chambers immediately. And send my thanks to the craftsman. I'll make sure he's rewarded handsomely for this. A pity. I liked how they looked in a collar, but I suppose I won't be needing it anymore.